So Bo and I have been up here um, clear cutting a little bit of an area uh, for our next project. Um, as you can see with all the bricks here, uh, we're going to put in a small cabin. Um, technically it's considered a shed because it's only so many square footage, but uh, we're starting to grab some of the materials needed to put in a, a good foundation and I'm working on clear cutting uh, the area. But if you remember in my previous videos, I had the tent uh, over here where this brush pile is a little further, maybe where the truck is. And we're gonna clear cut some of this stuff back. And I'm gonna take down a couple of these big trees here. And then uh, we're gonna put a small cabin uh, in here um, for us to, uh, to stay in. The tent was nice, it was great, uh, but just for me, uh, it was it was fine, but when I bring up uh, my family, uh, specifically my wife and my daughter, you know, it's uh, it's kind of nice to have a place that you can just not have to worry about bugs and so forth. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, clear cut most of this out here today. I'm going to try and get out as much as I can. It's still pretty thick back in here, but let's see how much we can get done today. Uh, the weather is perfect. It's only, uh, I think, about 72 degrees here, uh, July 30, 30th. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, clear cut this back. I'm going to take it back maybe another 20 yards, I think, uh, in all directions. So let's see how long it takes us. But let me, uh, let me walk back over here. Well, here's a pile where I've already started and got a few things in there. Um, but so... Hopefully this shows up and it's a, it's a good view. So we've got a few things uh, cleared out. I burned up all of the uh, stuff that could be burned. And so we got rid of all of that trash pile. I got to clean up uh, the wood pile here from some trees that, that were fell, falling over into the trails and I just stacked them all here. But uh, so the next job is, is to uh, clean, finish cleaning this up, but we made progress today. So let me walk you over to the area where we're going to be building and I'll show you the progress on that. So here we have um, the area in which we'll be building the, um, the log cabin. So it's still ha I still got to come back through. I, I want to go back maybe another 10, 15 yards back from where you see it now. Though we definitely won't be building back there, at least it'll be clear um, around the cabin site. So again, here are all the bricks that we were able to find off of Craigslist. Um, I got 100 bricks, I need 200, so we're halfway there. And I've only got $40 invested, so um, that's a pretty good deal so far. But yeah, so we're making progress here. Still quite a bit of work to do, but um, uh, this is... It'll, it'll be worth it all in the end that, you know, we don't have much money into it, but yet it'll be something that'll be here for quite some time and, you know, that my son will enjoy when he has children and being able to bring his kids here and, you know, ensure the outdoors that I did with him. So it's something to, I guess you would say, um, part of my legacy. If I can build something that my grandchildren, maybe my great-grandchildren can use, that'd be great. So we made progress. I still have to, uh, I'm going to let this stuff dry out. I'll drag it over to the fire pit and then we'll burn it. Uh, some, some of the stuff you see here that's already dried out was uh, when I first started two weeks ago. So slowly but surely we're getting there. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but you know what? It's, it's not bad. I've been up here maybe, I'd say less than um, four hours and I was able to clear the rest of this today uh, along with trying to clean up the stuff around the fire pit so um, just it's just slow and tedious but it's not very hard just trying to clean it up 
Now, when I go to take down the trees, then that will be a little bit more challenging. I've got, uh, I've got this tree here that needs to come down along with uh, this tree here. So this one and this one. And uh, this one here is dead. So we're going to take that one down. All of these saplings will come out. So this whole area will be cleared. Um, I've got a couple of trees here in the back. So this one here will, will come out because it is leaning this way. And I think, I think this one as well. We'll leave this one because um, the, way it's, the way it's leaning is that if it ever did fall, it would fall away from the cabin. Um, so we're, we're good there. So I've got maybe four, five. I mean, I'm not counting these dead ones here uh, that I know have to come out because they are dead. Um, that, you know, I just rather go ahead and take them out than instead of trying to leave them in. But, you know, these dead ones here we'll, we'll take out and we'll clean out. But yeah, I just got a little bit more to go. Like I said, I want to take it back maybe another 10, 15 yards just to have the clearing. And so it should be, it should be good. Now, from a, just from a perspective, uh, the, where that brush pile is, is where the tent was last year. And so that's, and you remember all behind the tent, it was all covered. So I'm standing where it was thick and uh, on the other side of where the tent was. So we clean that out. And what we're gonna do is, uh, as you come down the driveway, um, this here will be, will be a parking spot. And then, you know, you can walk into the cabin. And then the cabin will be at a slight angle. So the fire pit is straight through here, and the well is straight straight out that way so i'll cut two trails one to the well one to the fire pit uh, directly here from the cabin so it'll be at a slight angle and then there'll be a window on the side that you'll be able to see the driveway if if anyone was coming in so that's the game plan that's what we're going to do we've got you know plenty of work to do so i should have videos to show you how this process is is being done but um, in my opinion, we, we, <laughs> I got to get these trees out next. That'll be our next, uh, next thing we do. Once I finish clearing this, which I'm saying, thinking that it might be just another day uh, to clear this out, uh, back another 10, 15 yards. Um, and then uh, I'll come in here with a chainsaw. Now, my game plan is, is that um, I'd like to get all of the logs to be of the same dimension. Now, these are great logs. And um, for the size that I'm going to be building, I can probably get two, if not three, uh, lengths out of each one of these logs. Now, my concern is, is, you know, I want them straight. Uh, but, you know, if you want a straight log, you might as well go get a telephone pole because <laughs> that's the only way you're going to get it. Um, but I'm going to try and use as much of this wood that we cut down and then um, so it can be recycled back into... You know what we're using so we're not wasting or killing a bunch of stuff for unnecessarily uh, these saplings of course you know we'll have to take out we can't use those but as far as the big trees the mature trees i'm going to use as many of those as i can um, as you can see most of the trees around here uh, there's some pines in the back but it's mostly poplar um, a good stable wood uh, soft wood not real it's not part of the hardwoods i'd love to do it out of oak um, but we don't have, I mean, there's the oak trees here are just massive on the property and I don't have too many, uh, ones that I can cut down and handle, uh, with the equipment I plan on using. But, so. So here's the tools that I've been using so far to, uh, clear this area. I have the weed whacker. I have a pair of, um shears there as well as a rake and on the end of my weed whacker i've got the plastic uh, tip so i'm not going through so much string but it as you can tell here it does a very good job so what i did was is i came through first and chopped down all these kind of branches with the shears and, and cut them off piled them out 
and then came back through with the weed whacker and tried to get as much of it as close as I could to the ground and then I came back through and just raked it up and this is this is it so I might come back through and you know hit it again with the weed whacker now that all of the brush is out of there and see if I can't get it uh, lower get rid of these stubs because I don't want them growing back but not bad for you know a few hours of work all right well let me uh, go ahead and start closing things up and wrapping things up so we'll uh, catch you on the next video so until then take care god bless